After taking some time off, I'm back to podcasting. Find out what kind of changes lie ahead for Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer. Hello again, and welcome back to Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer podcast. I am your host, Jason, and I will admit, when I did my last podcast at the end of May, I was only planning on taking maybe a couple weeks off, but you know how life happens and things change, and pretty soon it was the end of June, and now it is the middle of July, and I'm back to podcasting, and I'm going to say that I guess I really needed that break. I had been podcasting pretty steadily there for just about a year and a half, almost two years, and I think I needed that break. I felt I wasn't giving you my best podcast, so I'm using this return podcast to kind of give you an update on where I am and where I plan on going here with Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer and some of the things that you can look forward to in the next coming months. Now, there's going to be some changes. I realized during my break that I've got a lot of things going on in my life, and this is one of them, and I really want to make it a priority. But at the same time, I've got a growing family, and I've got a job that I have to do, and I'm also working on some other things independently. So trying to fit all that in gets to be a little bit busy. So I want to start with saying that I'm going to continue the podcast but it's not going to be a weekly podcast any longer. I'm going to move to a bi-weekly, probably two podcasts a month is what I'm planning right now. I'm still going to bring you my ideas and thoughts about places to go in Wisconsin, where you can enjoy a family outing or give you a review of a state park. And I'm also going to try to mix in at least one interview a month. I think it's important to talk to fellow Wisconsinites or people who have had an impact on Wisconsin or have done something special in this state in the outdoors. And I want to share their stories with you because that's what I really enjoy doing with this podcast. I enjoy telling stories, whether they're my stories or whether they're somebody else's story. I enjoy bringing that information to you. And that's kind of what I want to focus on in round two, I guess you kind of say here, I want to tell more stories, tell more people's stories, and grow that interest in Wisconsin's outdoors. This podcast is more than just getting outdoors. It's experiencing Wisconsin for everything it has to offer. And it's not just those popular places. It's not southern Wisconsin. It's not eastern Wisconsin all the time. It's every little place that Wisconsin has offers something special and I want to get to those places and I want to share those places with you in my experiences. I'll say COVID has made things very difficult this year. I had a lot of things planned that I wanted to go do and see with the family and everything just changed or got canceled and it's been difficult to find new and exciting things to do. I have been to a car show, plan on going to a few more here in the next few months, hopefully, if they don't get canceled. But it is definitely a time to be outdoors, and that is a good thing. It's a good thing for all of us. I mean, it's summer. We've had a very good summer, in my opinion, so far. We've dealt with a little heat here in the last week or two. But for the most part, summer has been absolutely brilliant, and it's been almost the perfect summer, I'm going to say. It, it. We've had great weather, not a lot of rain, but just enough to keep the garden growing and and keep the crops growing strong. So it's a great time to be outdoors, and it's a great time to get outdoors and get your mind off of everything that is happening. And that's where we're still going to go here with the podcast. We're going to give you those ideas. I'm going to take you on places that that maybe you didn't think about going to, and hopefully give you ideas about where you can go in this state that maybe you haven't quite thought of. So that's going to be my biggest change moving forward here, is the podcast will no longer be a weekly podcast, and it's going to be every two weeks. I want to give you quality content that you can use. I don't want it to be just some random thoughts and ideas. I want it to be something that you can really use and really get a hold of and really get an idea of, whether or not it's a good option for you to go and try. And to do that, I realized in this last month that I need to 
take my time with some things and really dig deeper into some of the activities that myself and my family will be doing in the future. Now, another thing that I'm going to keep focusing on is the YouTube channel. I'm a video guy at heart. I love doing video work. I love all the gear and gadgets that go with doing video work. And I am going to be continuing that on the YouTube channel. Um, I think it's a great way for you to see some of the things that I'm talking about and really kind of get a firsthand experience of what goes into some of those things. And YouTube provides me that platform that I can share with you exactly what I'm seeing and what we're doing. If you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, get over there. I, I've i taken a break from that as well. So it has some great um, content in it from past adventures that my wife and I have been on, that the kids have been on. And that's going to be something that I'm going to keep focusing on here as I move forward. And I've also got the Instagram channel where everything started. I'm still going to be putting things out on there, maybe not as frequently. Like I said, I really want to focus more on content that you can use, but I love sharing my photography. That's one of my passions, one of my hobbies is I love grabbing the camera and getting out there and showing you pictures of places I've been or, or sunsets and things like that or lightning if I can get those shots. I, I love sharing those pictures and that's where you're going to see that more. And it's not going to be quite probably as heavy as I have in the past. I still have the Facebook page. And again, I think I'm going to use the Facebook page more for updates on where I am, what I'm going to do. And I really want to keep growing the Facebook group. I really think that that is the key for all of us. I think as a group, we can share ideas, we can share pictures, we can share videos. And it's a great place for all of us to talk to each other about places we love, things that we've done. If you've got questions about where to stay, I think this is a great spot for doing that. So if you haven't checked out the Facebook group, get over there and join the group. Be part of the conversation because that's what this is about. It isn't just about me sharing my experiences. I want to know what you guys love about Wisconsin. I want to know what draws you to the outdoors in Wisconsin. And I want you to share that with everybody else here in Wisconsin. So please check that out. Help us grow that. I really want to get that going and, and keep increasing that. We've got some pretty good content. We've got a few regulars now that come in there and share their pictures. And I love that. And I'm happy about that. And I want to thank the ones that are are doing that on a regular basis. And I want to thank you for continuing to listen to the podcast, even when I wasn't producing it. It really made me happy to see people going back and listening to past episodes and, and listening to some of my favorite episodes as well. So thank you for continuing to listen. Thank you for continuing to tag me on Instagram. I've gonna, I'm going to do some more sharing of those pictures on my Instagram page. So so thank you for being a part of Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer, because again, that's what it's about. It's not just about me, it's about us, and it's about showing others how great Wisconsin is. So I felt it was important to check in, give you an update, let you know where things are, and let you know that I'm back, that I'm going to come back here, and we're going to keep doing podcasts, so keep listening, share the podcast with everybody that you know, and let them know that I'm here, and let's keep growing this, because I really love doing this and I realized during this time that it's okay to take a break from it once in a while. Um, I don't get paid to do it. So it's something that I just love to do and I love to share and I love communicating with everybody out there. So again, thank you for being a part of Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer and let's just keep growing it. Let's keep sharing those ideas. It's been a weird year. 2020 has been a weird year and I'm sure we've all got our stories about things that have canceled that we've enjoyed and maybe we've tried new things that, that we probably never thought we were going to do. And I want to hear about those things and I'm going to share some of the things that we have done that we ne not necessarily would have done in past years, but I look forward to sharing my experiences and hearing from yours as well. Thank you again for sticking around. I am back. We're going to get some great podcast content out for you. I'm really excited. I got a a lot of ideas about some of the guests that I want to reach out to and start talking to here and just bring you some great Wisconsin outdoor content. Thanks again for joining me. I'm your host, Jason, and I'm going to talk to you real soon. 
Thanks for listening to the Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer podcast. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, and don't forget to give us a review. And now you can be one of Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorers. Join our Facebook group and share your favorite places to get outdoors in Wisconsin. You can also share photos, videos, and get in on the conversation as one of Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorers.